Wednesday morning coffee. So we are at the Roasters today. We want to show you a lot of the back end of what we do to make sure that we are producing premium coffee that have just been imported from our different countries. Wow, Savannah, are you there? There you are. That is that. that I mean, that is probably the best uh, story I've heard about the travel of a coffee bean. Uh, and so, I want to thank you so very much for sharing that with us. Welcome to Win TV. Thank you so much. It is absolutely my pleasure to be here, Denise, and I'm looking forward to this interview. Yeah, you know, one of the things that we do every week is we uh, tell folks, you know, to once the paper gets out, we send them a link. We do it on our social media channels and we tell them to pick up a copy. Well, I've always thought the uh, best day to read your newspapers is a Sunday morning. And uh, so, you know, I always say, you know, get your Sunday morning coffee and the Washington Informer and start your, your Sunday, right? So this is a perfect marriage between us here. <laughs> Denise, it's amazing because that's actually the very thought that went into naming the company. It is that coveted day, that time period uh, for a lot of people. It is on physically Sunday. Some people it's Saturday, but whatever day that is, it's the state of mind that everything is in alignment. You're in a great space. All the stars are shining and you just wanna have quality time with a quality cup of what we call black gold. Oh yes, that, oh yeah. So before we get into the coffee, let's talk a little bit about you. Uh, yes. Savannah Mitchell, give us, tell us who you are, you know, how you got involved in this, where, where you are. And I think you're here in DC, is that correct? Correct. We are yeah. uh, in the D.C. area. Yes, we are. Uh, Sunday morning coffee is my 25-year dream. Um, when I was a little girl, eight years old, I remember spending countless hours in the evenings and on Saturdays and weekends in the summer playing with my dolls, having coffee and tea parties. That's all I wanted to do. So for every holiday, every birthday, my parents would ask, well, what do you want for a gift? My answer was the same every time. Mommy, I want a tea set. So I loved having these dinner parties and lavish brunches with my dolls. And as I grew older, when it was time to do career planning in high school, my counselor said, well, what do you want to do um, for a living? I said, I don't know. All I know is I love hosting parties for my dolls and we have coffee and tea every day. <laughs> and she said, you know, that's an entire industry. And I said, no, she says, call hospitality. I said, you are kidding. She said, no. So I ran to the library because this was pre-internet mm -hmm. and spent the entire weekend in the library. But during the weekend, I had seen a commercial and the commercial showed cherry blossoms. I said, what's a cherry blossom? So I went back to the library, looked up cherry blossoms and they said, they're in Washington, D.C. I said, let me see what colleges are in Washington, D.C. Because I'm from a small town in upstate New York. There are no HBCUs. Mm -hmm. And I saw Howard University. And I said, oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. And literally in my 10th grade year, I applied to Howard University. Did not tell my parents. I am the youngest of seven. And in the second semester of my junior year in January, I'll never forget, got this letter in the mail and my parents said, why is Howard University sending you a letter? And I said, mom and dad, I applied to Howard University. And they said, there is no way. Yeah. And the letter, we opened the letter and said, congratulations, you're accepted. Wow, so, amazing. 
Yeah, that was really my en entree into the Washington, D.C. area because I had no family members. We had no friends, no relatives, nothing in the area. But Howard University had a full hospitality program, and I took the program, did my internship at the Howard Inn. For those of you who are familiar. Yes, I remember the Howard Inn. It, definitely, definitely. Right. And that's when I knew I was in the right place. And so coffee and tea and fine dining has always been a part of me throughout all of my career. I've always been a leader in corporate America. And in 2020, I got a call in the height of the pandemic to say your position has been abolished. Ooh. And I said, thank you. I knew it was time. So you mean uh, uh, Sunday morning coffee is a COVID baby? I call them COVID babies. Absolutely. <laughs> it, Wonderful. It you gave birth. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You gave birth. So now, I mean, you got into this and it seems as though you're only one, one of 20 African-American coffee roasters in the country. Did you realize either that there were that many or that there were that few? What, what did that say to you? Absolutely. Being in the coffee industry, I mean, throughout the two decades, I've been traveling the world abroad. And so it's very evident. This is a white male dominated industry. Um, very, very few women and even less women of color. So I knew that going in, which is for me part of the attraction, because I always like to make a statement and I always like to go against the rip. So it, it just aligned perfectly for what I'm doing. And it's really important also that we're represented because coffee has such a huge impact yeah. on the black community, even back to the slave trade. It, it, it's so and our community, we don't realize the impact coffee has had coffee anti has had on the slave trade. We were often used as commodity in trading for coffee and tea and then to cultivate the crops for coffee and tea, which made many, many leaders millionaires. Yeah. Yeah. And um, um, hopefully that that transition will also benefit you at this point. Um, so what, what distinguishes your coffee, say from the regular name brands that we see on, on the uh, grocery store um, you know, shelves, the, the Folgers? And my, my grandmother was a Folgers drinker, so I, I started drinking Folgers because of her. But, um, you know, but we're, you know, we always kind of, our coffee has become uh, almost like uh, wine or, you know, what have you. I mean, everybody sort of has their favorite. So what distinguishes yours from the rest? It's a wonderful question. So most people, especially in the black community, were familiar with those brands, Maxwell House, Folgers. And right. that's because that's what you saw mama, big mama, great grandma, uncle, grandpa drink. What we didn't realize is that they were, they had always been other options. It's just, we often thought they were not affordable. Mm -hmm. So we tended to stay away from the other options. The biggest difference with our coffee and the others is we roast our beans at the time you place an order. Whereas most coffee that's on the shelf, we don't know when those beans were roasted. Mm -hmm. don't know when those coffees were ground. And that has a tremendous impact on the experience of your coffee. How do you do that, Savannah? Is it is it in a, a because you your your coffee's available, like for example at Wegmans. Uh, I understand you can purchase uh, Sunday morning coffee there. But you know, is it it's explain that process because if it's when it's when it's uh, requested, then what about the coffee that's being offered in, in the stores? Or yes. in a Wegmans, which is congratulations for, to you on that, too. <laughs> we you. cannot think of that as a, a minor uh, sell, uh, accomplishment for you. So that's great. Correct. Yes. Yeah. So Wegmans orders weekly. So that okay. means you're getting fresh roasted coffee weekly. Okay. And that's why. And our coffee bags are in sustainable packaging. So which means that our bags, they have these specialized degassing valves that allows your coffee to maintain freshness for up to six months. Mm -hmm. Huge differentiator when we have right now, 79% of all Americans make coffee daily from home. So that's important 
in that we have all these new home baristas, you want a fresh cup of coffee at home. And is there a good way, now I'm getting ready to talk about making coffee from home because now the, the coffee makers are so vast, so different uh, compared to you know the, the regular little percolator that, that Big Mama used to use, make her coffee in. So does it matter how people um, prepare their, your coffee in their homes? It doesn't matter, but it is on preference because okay. there are so many different brewing methods. You have the traditional coffee brewer that you'll have on your countertop, um, makes it a wonderful cup of coffee because you're, it's just like a chef. Your coffee is gonna be determined on your ingredients. So if you're starting off with the finest ingredients, number one, fresh distilled or filtered water. That is the best tip I can give you next to buying the Sunday morning coffee is to start <laughs> off with distilled or filtered water because that water will 1000% impact the quality of your coffee. So the water, the coldness of the water, and so if you could put ice cubes in your water, that's what I would also give you a second tip, and then fresh ground beans. So with those three tips, distilled or filtered water, ice cubes in the water, and then fresh whole bean or fresh ground beans, any of your favorite brewing methods, you're going to come up with a wonderful coffee experience. And also storing coffee, your coffee. I mean, I know that there's some people who will, you know, take the coffee, maybe put it in a glass jar. Some may refrigerate it. Some may just keep it on the shelf. What's the best way to, to once you bring uh, that Sunday morning, morning coffee home, to store it as you, as you use it? So with the other brands, that's often been the recourse that many coffee drinkers have had to take because it's very difficult to maintain that freshness in their bags. In mm -hmm. our bags, we've done the work for you. Wonderful. Our bags are resealable. So you literally keep them in the bag. They do not require refrigeration. They just can sit them on your countertop or in your pantry. Now, a lot of people don't like going to some of these coffee uh, retailers because they find that the coffee is too bitter, too strong. Uh, but, you know, we introduced Sunday Morning Coffee Company as a coffee that delivers a smooth, sultry, and sophisticated taste. So uh, what, describe that. What is that experience like? I'm looking forward, I'm, I'm sitting here now saying, gee, I wish I had a cup in front of me. But, you know, this, <laughs> explain what, what my experience would be like when I, when I finally do get that cup of Sunday morning coffee. Well, you are going to have a very, very memorable experience because the first thing you're going to notice is upon holding the bag, you can smell our beans on our grounds through the bag. So that's one. Second, when you open, it's a bouquet. It is a bouquet of fine quality, luxurious premium coffee. That's going to catch you right there. That's really important because as you ground your beans, if you decide to do whole beans or as you prepare your ground coffees, your whole house, and this is the feedback we get from our customers. Our customers, they email us, they text us, they give us information on our social media, and they tell us the entire kitchens smell like a coffee house. And that's because of the premium quality of the beans. Really good coffee, you should be able to smell pure coffee. And that's why you get the smooth sultry and satisfying experience, which gives you the level of sophistication. Okay. And so um, where, where, what's the source of your beans? Where do you get them from? So our number one source for our beans is Ethiopia. Okay. Ethiopia is the number one exporter of coffee in the world. We also get them from Kenya, uh, Colombia, Honduras, Vietnam, Cameroon, um, and Puerto Rico. And so what do you, are they blends of all those beans or are there, you know, is there, let's say a variety of different coffees that you offer? Great question. So we have 12 different blends. Okay. We offer the traditional blends because we have a lot of corporate customers. So a lot of our corporate customers, they demand French roast. We have a wonderful French roast, which is one of the darkest uh, robust coffees that you can get between the French roast and the espresso. So those are premium dark coffees, 
but with no bite. It doesn't grab you by the neck. It's not that bitterness that people often experience with those darker blends. Then we have our medium roast, which is the overwhelming majority of our customers. That's what they fall in, the medium roast. So we are fine Colombians and also um, our fine um, um, Ethiopian coffees. Then we have our breakfast blends. So these are the lighter coffees. It is definitely a nice, nice experience. Really breakfast type coffees that's designed to not be too heavy. So with those 12 blends, we have all three areas, the light, medium, and dark, and then our flavored coffees. I tell you, Denise, we have some of our top sellers. Butter Toast is a top seller for us. Wow, okay. Creamy caramel toffee coffee that is amazing, hot and iced, outstanding. Then we have a, a, we'll have a Miss Emma. Miss Emma uh, is named after my mom. I took care of her for 19 years. And she went on and got her wings. And I said, Mom, I'm going to name a coffee after you. That is another top seller. Hazelnut, amazing aroma. Outstanding. What? And, and you know, we, I'm sorry, one more we have is our Fireside Cozy. These are our highly aromatic coffees that customers, they want all year long, hot and cold. So, I mean, I could talk to you about coffee all day because, uh, and, and plus when I realized Savannah that uh, coffee has great nutritional value, it's rich in antioxidants. Uh, that is before you put all that sugar and that cream and all that other stuff in it. But, you know, I'm a black coffee drinker. So I feel like, okay, I'm, I'm having a great coffee experience, which is going to get better because of Sunday morning coffee uh, and I'm, I'm taking care of myself. So, I mean, that's another sales tip, I think that you probably already use that, that people need to know about. Absolutely. Coffee has zero to little calories, black coffee, very little coffee, uh, very little calories. And then you will see a lot of diets have coffee on the diet regimen because it is good for you. It is a natural um, energizer. And again, we're talking about black coffee, which a lot of our customers drink our coffees black because they're so smooth. So, wow. Yes. Well, I want to thank you so much, Savannah. Now, where can we get this coffee? I want to I want to know. And we talked about Wegmans. Uh, and so we and now, you know, DC is excited because we finally have a Wegmans in the city. Um, but we know they have several Wegmans around. And where else? How else can we get um, Sunday morning coffee? Thank you for that question, Denise. So being in Wegmans is so significant for us. Uh, we are the only black owned coffee brand in the DC Wegmans. So we are really asking all of those who are local to the DC Wegmans, please go into that Wegmans and purchase our Sunday morning coffees because it is significant as you can imagine we are shoulder to shoulder with some international national brands that it will make a tremendous difference if we have a strong impact in that store so that's the first place i would ask second is our direct from our website um, you will have your coffees within one to two days um, super easy ordering off our website which is sundaymorningroast.com next you can find us on amazon ebay etsy um, and also, if you frequent Carolina Kitchen, we are in their restaurant locations. And um, soon we'll be coming in a couple of other big box retail stores. And so we are very, very well situated for easily accessibility. And you'll have your coffees within one to two days. Well, you have told us a lot. Uh, I think that's great a lot. I mean, I'm already seeing in the chat um, our, our, our biggest fan, Vera Abbott, who also happens to be my mom, says she's going to Wegmans to get hers. And uh, Austin Cooper said he's going. And, you know, so we'll be carrying a, a busload of folks to Wegmans to, to just to buy coffee. So that'll be great. Um, and I think we, we don't have time to talk about it today, but I think as a woman-owned business, you have a lot to share. You've done a lot in two, in what, when did, when did you launch this and what year, 19 Literally, or 20? Actually 21, August 21, we we're coming on one year. This is amazing. Have, it's yeah. amazing what you've accomplished in a year. And, and that's a story worth telling as well. So I really congratulate you and thank you for taking time to, you know, to spend a little time with us to talk about 
you know, Sunday morning coffee. And um, anything else you want to add before we go? Please engage with us on our social media. That is really important because as we are, again, we are entertaining lots of big retail brands and they are looking at us also through our social media platforms. So we okay. ask you, please go and give us our Google reviews. Um, please interact with us on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Twitter, on TikTok. We have a big presence on TikTok because as we are being courted by Fortune 500 companies, they're looking at every aspect of our organization. And they want to take a chance. Right now, we're in a good space for Black-owned companies and Black women-owned companies. But we have to make sure that we are tight in all of our areas. So we need that engagement from existing customers and new customers. We are asking you, what, whichever coffee you drink, we're not asking to replace that. We're asking to make room for Sunday morning in addition to your existing coffee. And then you take the chance. Well, for what I'm hearing, it, it won't be hard to replace <laughs> some of those other coffees with Sunday morning coffee. And I'm looking forward to, to getting mine this weekend. So I'm going to do that. Savannah, thank you so much. I hope that our viewers will stay in touch, follow you on social media. Like you said, buy that coffee and uh, give us some reviews. We'll do that as well. So we look forward to talking to you some more and you know, wish you the best. Wish you continued, continued success. Where do you come to get